Hi, we're here with Aaron Wang, uh, CEO of DressUpWho.com. Aaron, you used to not do this. You used to do, help with marketing to websites. How did you come up come up with this idea and and make it happen? Um, yeah, so when I first graduated, I figured I needed some real world experience, mm -hmm. um, even though I already had Dress Up Who. Mm -hmm. So I worked in an advertising agency, and um, it was about AdWords. Mm -hmm. So I worked with them for a year, and then I figured it was time to be on my own. Um, so this website is called Dress Up Who. Um, my first website was actually called Gangsta Wars. So it was kind of like Mafia Wars. It was like a team by team basis. So these are like ga free gaming websites that you've created. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's actually targeted for guys. Mm -hmm. um, so what it is is you create gangs and you, uh, you get like weapons and girls and, and money. Oh, wow. And the inverse like other gangs. So this, this website was really popular, but unfortunately it got hacked. So, you know, I, I thought to myself, why not take another, another route and do something for girls? Mm -hmm. So I made a website called Doll War, and this was a website where you battle with fashion. So every crew has different fashions, and you can vote on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then from there, I, I created, like, mini games, and that's where Tressapu came about. So it's like competing for, competing to look the best or fashion. Yeah, so pretty much. How much traffic now does Dress Up Who get a month? Um, right now we're getting about 100,000 visits per day. Per day, wow. Yeah. Had, um, that's, that's, to a lot of people, that sounds like a lot of people. Does right. it, um, had, you know, any challenges that you had along the way to build a site, that much traffic? Um, we're lucky because we were one of the first websites to do this. Uh -huh. um, so when we first started, there were only three websites that mm -hmm. focused on Dress Up Games. But now there are around hundreds of thousands. So I guess the challenge is um, there's a lot of competition now. Mm -hmm. So you got to be really innovative with your games um, because girls have a very uh, short attention span. You must have to have a lot of games, right? To... Yeah. Um, what is your daily day like, you know, working with Dress Up Who? Um, most of my programmers actually, um, I outsource them. So mm -hmm. they're from China and India. Mm -hmm. So at night, I actually talk to them on Skype um, to create more games. Mm. I also do a lot of market research on uh, what girls like. So what's popular now is, uh, you know, Frozen, the movie? Yeah, Disney. Yeah, yeah, so Elsa is actually one of the most famous characters right now. So yeah. we're busting a lot of, a lot of games um, around Elsa. Okay, and, and uh, closing out, any advice you have to entrepreneurs that they might have an idea and they're not sure they should go ahead with it? Give it a um, or I think first step, like you know, if someone could give you advice when you started, what would you like to hear? Right. Um, I think you should just go with it. You know, just give it a try if you have an idea. Um, don't put too much money in it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe like twenty percent of your of your real budget, mm -hmm. and just go with it and see where it goes. That sounds like pretty good advice. It worked out. All right, thank yeah. you very much, Aaron. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Jonathan.